Here in my garage, just kidding, at the storage unit to grab a couple things. So I've had a couple days to try my Bluetooth scanner and I am going to tell you guys my honest opinion and what I think and whether it's worth, you know, the 50 or 100 or $200 that it cost you to get one. What's up guys? So I've had a couple days to try out my new Bluetooth scanner and I wanted to let you guys know what I what I thought my my first impressions, um, <clears throat> kind of like a, a first hand review after a few days. Okay, so I like I said before, I bought this on eBay. I got uh, an okay, what I thought was a good deal, much better than buying it new on Amazon, but not the best deal that I found. Um, so since I bought it used, it didn't come with a manual or any of the paperwork. The first issue I had is. That it's supposed to be a very easy setup, um, kind of user friendly. However, when I was pairing it with my phone, it kept asking for a PIN number, and I didn't have one. So I emailed the customer, or I emailed the the seller, and he said that he didn't have one either. So after some reading online, what worked for me, and I don't know if this is the only way to do it or not, but I had to download an app called Serial Gears, and uh, that allowed me to pair my phone with my scanner. Now, after that, every time I would scan something, the, uh, the serial number would just pop up here. And if I was paired correctly, it would just come up on the Serial Gears app. So I did some more reading and found out that it can be a hassle and it might not be completely worth it to use with the Amazon Seller app. At least that's what I've read. So I decided to take the opportunity to try a new app. And uh, I've heard a lot about FBA Scan, so that's what I went with. Now, FBA Scan offers a few different packages, I guess, and uh, I'm all in type of person. So I went with the professional package. And yes, it does charge, it does cost 40 bucks a month, which I know some people might think is expensive, but uh, I, I kind of have the, the point of view that it's an investment and uh, if I can't increase my business by 40 bucks then what am I doing anyways so this is the KDC 200 Bluetooth scanner and now I'm using the FBA or yeah FBA scan professional package now uh, I'll tell you the couple reasons that I decided to go this way one is that they work really well together this is a laser Bluetooth scanner so it's like instantaneous. You scan and it pops up on your on the FBA scan app right away. It's got the FBA prices, new prices, used prices, the ranks, and it will even tell you like buy or reject. Now I believe you can um, change the settings, like set your requirements for either profit margin or rank. I haven't figured that out yet. I've only been out scanning with this one time so far so i will let you know like on a further in-depth review after i've had some more time to use it reason number two that i wanted to use fba scan professional package is because it allows you to download the fba database so depending on where you live if you get shoddy reception or if you are thrifting at a store and you don't have reception you're kind of screwed if you don't have service and you can't be in there scanning or if you're scanning and it's taken five minutes to come up that's not going to work so i tried that out the other day too basically you just download the database and then you go into your settings and uh you or system well you pick that you want to run on database mode and then it's even quicker because you can literally just scan 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 and uh there will be different tones so you'll get like a beep 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 and then when you hit something that's profitable or that hits the requirements it'll be a different sound so then you can go back and check that again now the only issues that i had the only issues i've had after that was uh was kind of silly it was just a beginner mistake i was um scanning books and i got about a stack of 10 of them now this was soft cover books at a goodwill so they were like 49 cents 
not a big deal. When I got home to put together an FBA shipment, I would say like four or five of the books weren't really worth sending in. And I realized what I, what I did is uh, I was scanning and then I heard that, that buy sound and I got excited and I didn't realize that the price I was looking at was actually the FBA price for a new product, for a new book. So, you know, I fit 59 cents and I bought a book. I was thinking it was going to sell for 15. Turns out that was new and a used price was like six bucks. So, you know, I, I made like $2 worth of bad buys. But anyways, that is my first impression and honest review of the Bluetooth scanner. Like I said, when I get more familiar with the settings and the apps, maybe I'll come back and revisit this in a couple of weeks. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.